Bruce Lawson. I'm from Opera Software and I'm going to show you the web standards way to change the background colour of a web page. First of all, here's the old way. The old way, you went to the body tag, you typed in an attribute called DG colour equals and then you typed in the name or the hex code and then so when I preview that in the browser you can see yep we've got a green background and there's the source however that's quite an old-fashioned way to do it the reason it's old-fashioned is because it's mixing up style information with the actual information in the marker so let's kill that old-fashioned way and let's do it using cascading style sheets or CSS um, these are generally done on a site-wide basis rather than typing in the in the information into the head but I'm just doing that to, to demonstrate it style type equals text slash CSS we'll close that, that, that uh, tag there you can see that I can't type now here I'm going to type body and open the curly quotes and make a rule that describes how the body will display so here it's a background colour written out in full but in the American way colon green a semicolon to end that rule and then I close it with the curly brackets now when I look at that in the browser we can see it's still got a green background and when I view the source you'll notice it's using the CSS. Now you're probably wondering why that's better. It actually took more keystrokes there to do the same effect. But let's uh, let's do a re more real-world example. Let's put in 10 paragraphs here. Okay, we've got 10 paragraphs of uh, lorem ipsum text there. Now if we wanted those all um, justified to the right, the old way you'd have to type in a line equals right and you do it on every paragraph on every page in your website using CSS what we do is we go to our style sheet we make a rule for the P tag P you do text align oops right that semicolon to end the rule close the, uh, the curly brackets and then when we preview it in the browser all the text is aligned to the right. This power to uh, control a whole site just by one style sheet is why we use CSS rather than adding attributes into directly into the HTML. My name is Bruce Lawson and I work for Opera who make the web browser. If you're interested in more lessons on making websites the web standards way go to opera.com slash WSC to read our web standards curriculum. It's free, it's open source, it's unbiased, and it takes you from complete beginner to expert in building websites the modern way. Thanks very much for listening.